what's up guys welcome back to my channel welcome to another work vlog um just another regular day i'm um, waiting for my friend to come pick me up so i feel like i have a bit of a sneeze coming on right <coughs> sorry about that but anyway um hope everybody's having an awesome day um and like me is if you're doing the same thing I'm doing in this vlog, um, I'm ready to go and get back into the routine since New Year's. Even though I just got back into the routine before New Year's, I actually got because it's the day after New Year's while I'm recording this, and I actually got New Year's off. So um, schedule has been changed a little, but um, anyway. As everyone, I don't know if everyone saw that little background title that I made about my Apple Watch, but I got the mic fixed. I don't know what was wrong with it, but um, I remember just taking a paper clip like everybody does and I like, kind of digging around to see if there's any loose dirt in it, and sure, and um, it started working perfectly. So um, anyway, um, one thing I have done so I'm not tied to it, if that makes sense. I remember my mom telling me, like, hey, that's the only, because I remember my mom telling me um, that's the only thing is you can, you can become tied to it, is um, I don't have all the notifications set on my smartwatch. I only have, like, anything that relates to texts or calls and, of course, the Love 360, because the point of me having a smartwatch is so I can text or talk on the phone with, like, maybe my mom or my dad, and I don't... And like me, or maybe just a friend, and like I'm, let's say I'm in the store, and obviously you don't want to pull out your phone when you're, um, or work, and obviously you don't want to pull out your phone because you gotta be paying attention. Um, but yeah, um, so now I don't have to. I'm not. It doesn't always ring whenever I get a notification just on text and calls because. In my opinion, you don't really need it to. I guess, well, I guess if you wanted to, but like most people probably don't use the smartwatch to tell you like if your if you got if your Instagram post got liked or anything like that. Um, another thing I would do is I would actually put my smartwatch on do not disturb, so that way I will, so that way it doesn't just like my just like so my phone won't ring. I'm just just this is so also my smartwatch doesn't ding like. If I'm at an event or anything like that, because you know, obviously, I'm sure some people might want to use it for texting so that way it doesn't look like they're on their phone, but still, you want to be mindful of that. Um, but anyway, if you guys are new here, my name is Lil Clickley and I have high functioning autism. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and enjoy the video. Alright, so um, I'm at work right now. I just did a little better be organized and I'm gonna do some more try to do some more if I have time later on in the day but um got these dehues running um and then I had four of these fans stacked up two of them didn't even need anything done to them I've had that happen before but um I'm about to check on this one I think I have a feeling what's causing this one not to work if it's not working which it probably is but um I got a little update on the spider boxes. There was one um, clip on the last work vlog. I forgot. Wait, no, I didn't. I posted it on there. But um, anyway, we're gonna. Um, my good, my main man John Jones. He was talking to the um, person of the company. I think he's gonna give us some new stuff. So that's good. Um, kind of puts me at ease because I did what I could with these, um, everything I could with the spider boxes, and they just wouldn't work. So. Um, now we can kind of put it at ease. I hate I hate it when we have to just throw them away, but sometimes it happens, you know. But anyway, I'm about to um, work on that fan, and then um, as far as these X powers go, this one's out here because I was doing a little video for one of the bosses. We're gonna to give them an example of what's been going on and why I think we should get rid of these and just 
either st- just stick to the snail fans and the flat fans, or if we want to replace them, or if we'd like to get a third kind of fan, whichever, um, just replace these. But, um, um, hopefully it'll be done soon. Um, those are all up there because those all those snail fans in the pile because they are no longer usable. Um, but anyway, the craziest thing like happened to me, I'd say about maybe the day before, yeah, the day before New Year's, um, there was a shooting at a sheets not that literally is not as in literally in my area in Colfax, and um, I remember my phone ringing for the. Um, code blue alert and like I remember just looking at my phone like wondering um what's going on because I didn't know I never got a blue alert before when I found out what it was I was like uh oh because I didn't know like where the shooter was but um or anything like that but I remember um hearing more about it um what happened was there was a kid it was a kid and he was stealing beer from the sheets and then an off-duty officer had seen him. It was the kid and a few other guys, and unfortunately, I think, this is from what I've heard, I could be wrong, but the officer, I think, I pulled, I'm guessing maybe he was, after he confronted them, he was gonna arrest them and took his gun out of his holster, and then the kid pulled out a gun and shot him, and unfortunately, the officer was killed, and when I found out it was a kid, it honestly broke my heart because that kid, um. He's barely 18, he has his whole life ahead of him, and he pretty much threw his whole life away because of a decision he made, and he's gonna, he's gonna have to live with the fact that he killed somebody with a family, and the fact that he killed somebody in general, and I remember just saying a prayer on New Year's Day after I got back from a party, and it's kind of it's cra- It's kind of sad when, because this kid obviously was basically attacked by Satan, and it's sad when Satan does puts this stuff in our minds that this is what we need to do when it isn't. You know, if he had just cooperated or just done what the officer said, you know, just you know did everything he did. Um, everything you should have done, just faced his consequences, then this wouldn't have happened. Now, because of his decision, it's going to affect him even more. Um, I would like to give my condolences to the family of the officer. Just remember that Jesus loves you no matter what, and he can get you through this grieving. But um, anyway, I'm going to continue working and see what's going on with this fan. So I gotta figure out what I wanna do as far as removing these outlets. Because the outlets need to be fixed. I don't think I have all my drill bits, one of them broke. So gotta figure out what to do and then of course I have one of my DU saying low temperature and I already know in a few seconds it's gonna tell me it's an error there's an error. It gets really, really annoying when it does that. This one This one's not heating up, so I might I can't remember if I replaced the sensor on this already, but I'm gonna definitely do that now. It's actually an easy fix. So this one just turned back on. It's getting a little warm. This one here is not getting warm at all. Looking here to see what the everything on it. So I don't know what's going on. I guess we'll figure it out in a second. Okay, so I got some good news. So on Friday, I can't go, I can't work Wednesday like I originally planned since I had Monday off um, because I got a chiropractor appointment. Um, On Friday, we're gonna look at the, we're gonna take pictures of all these fans and talk to the people from John Don's and see if we can get credit for him. So he's finally gone. I think I'm finally going bye-bye and hopefully we can get something better. 
Um, I've seen these this other brand we've been using, Phoenix. That actually looks like a good brand too. But um, yep, it look. But um, I'm pretty excited. So one thing I've noticed that's really cool is that so these outlets are going to need to be replaced but one thing you see these little white things I don't know if you can see too well on the camera these are these little doors that I think also will close on the outlets that way it will keep um, anyone from plugging stuff into the outlets when they're using it what happened was um, they were using these um, fans in crawl spaces and and they thought there wasn't gonna they would be fine that there wasn't gonna be any flooding or anything like that but somehow the car space did get flooded and it didn't damage the motors as you can see but it did damage the outlets so they're all gonna need to be replaced um, I'm just testing them all to make sure but yep all except for that one over there so, yeah so um I'm uh, just got finished with lunch just uh, uncrustable um, little um, fruit punch slushy, more of a liquid because these don't lunch boxes don't really keep them frozen. I got this orange soda. I also will take um an energy drink to work with me just to keep me a little perked up if I need to. You know, I just sat and watched a little bit of Quan and then I'm um, mixing the try to get back to work. We got what I'm gonna do. Um, yep. So it's the middle of the afternoon. Um, not the middle, I'd say. Um, let's see. What time is it, Mickey? It's one twenty-two. It's one twenty-three. It's one twenty-three. As you can see, it's actually very, very quiet. So it's actually how it is for the most part, unless they don't have a lot of jobs. Sometimes I hate it when it gets quiet, though. I mean, sometimes I like it quiet, but not all the time. Um, sometimes if I see how long... Um, this is one thing I like to do sometimes when I first come in, is look through the trucks and see, like... Uh-oh. Is that what we did? Yeah. We'll shoot. Trying to turn the lights on. Sometimes I like to look and see if I can find anything, another piece of equipment, like how much is in the trucks that I could hint. There's also something else that I need to make my second priority, second top priority. This one did? Oh, uh, nope, this one works. Let's see. Yep. Guess the batteries in that one are dead. And sometimes I like to be silly and sometimes just peek through the window, see the left left anything, you know. So bored. Gotta get some more bits so I can't fix those fans right now. Hmm. Someone left the jacket in this vehicle. Yeah, I don't get in trouble for doing that. I'm sure they know I'm just being silly, but still. I don't think anyone's using these right now, otherwise, I wouldn't be looking through them. But, um. That vehicle over there belongs to Mike and Joey. It doesn't belong to them, it's just the one that they use. Um, I actually got a new inflatable for Valentine's Day that I'm going to be putting up tomorrow along with the rest of my Christmas decorations so that I mean Valentine's Day decorations oh. Burging but no heat Oh now it's cold now. I don't know what to do. It takes like two minutes. But it's just that one stretch of road. It's nice and straight. All right. So we can get going kind of fast. 
All right. I get a good launch. Whoa. Stop being an C7. Favorite bike style of the Corvette. Yeah, it's a good one. You know where Luke went? I do not. I even got a song for you. Oh, okay. I don't even know if you. I don't know if you've heard this. This is from my day. You ever heard this? No. This is when I was like a pretty kid. Cool. What? Pretty cool. Yeah, but see, we go down there, then you take a right, and then come back down the road. So, all right, was it? it's quick. You know where we're going, right? Yeah, it's quick. car was with Jordan and his Nissan 3, 350. Oh, car? Yep. Well, this is a lot faster than this. Yeah. <laughs> ah. I still love doing it. Yeah. <laughs> when are you going to drive it? I don't know. I'm, I feel like this could be the year, but I'm always praying that I can get the credentials to be able to get a license and get insurance. That's what's stopping me right now, you know? Okay. Other than I, the fact that I don't have a lot of people to take me driving, you know? Oh, really? Yeah. yeah especially if you want to drive it in the parking lot or something, you can drive it. Oh, okay. Yep. I don't know. We gotta go back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Plus, I always get scared. I mean, so this road's pretty good because yeah. there's like never cops on it. Uh huh. Man, I just worry a one time. Yeah. You know? Yep. Although, maybe we just go fast enough and I'll run it. Alright. <laughs> My dream sports car is the F10 BMW M5. Oh, really? And my dream muscle car is a. How um, much does that thing cost? I don't know. It's probably a freaking lot. Heck yeah. And then my. Well, muscle car it would be a Dodge Charger Scat Pack. Yeah, you said you like the Chargers a lot. Yeah. That's good, I think. Yep. Alright, man, thank you. Alright, we'll do it again if you want. All right. I just yeah. feel bad taking off too much time driving around. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Can't really do much work anyway, cause. What? Can't really do much work anyway, cause. All right, y'all. So I'm gonna end this YouTube video. That was actually pretty fun. If you wanted to watch just the part of the Corvette, I will try to upload that clip onto my car channel. Um, so go ahead and check it out. Um, hopefully, so. I think my dream sports car, if I could get it, would be a F10 BMW M5. I just don't have the funds to get to even get insurance or a license. And I'm praying that one day God will provide me with it. Because I still believe that he's one day going to let me go behind the wheel. I just got to wait. I mean, I feel like this could be the year, but it could not be. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.